Hello. Hello. Welcome to TJ Fanatico Podcast for Fanatico. You want to be an official TJ Fanatico, which why wouldn't you? Get all kinds of benefits from that, not just being able to walk around using a Spanish all the time. <laughs> Speaking of Spanish, um, there are all kinds of benefits to it. Perks, if you will. Perks and twerks. Ooh, we twerking. <laughs> Go to uh, tjriggins.com slash fanatico. Yep. Get it. So um, I told this story earlier on the regular old show, but yesterday I was um, I was in a panic because my wife had done some really heavy-duty cleaning, and, and she's just, um, I mean, she zones out when she's doing that because she's such a, a, a clean freak person. <laughs> And I usually will put all of my stuff in one spot. And there's a cabinet, I mean, a, a counter in the laundry room. And I'll put it right there when I come in. My keys, my, <clears throat> excuse me, my watch and my little rubber wedding band, the whole thing. And um, she told me, she goes, hey, I put all your stuff in that drawer to the right in the laundry room. And I said, okay. So then I got ready for work the next day, and all of my stuff was in there except for my um, little thing that I love that I've gotten from Distill Harbor. It's the um, Wally Jr. Uh, MagSafe wallet, phone wallet that goes onto my phone with the strong magnet and the and the handsome leather and all of that. Now, the reason it wasn't on my phone is because I was doing some pressure washing outside. I mean, spring cleaning in the fall sucks, which is basically what we were doing. <laughs> and so I didn't want to get it wet or anything, and so I took it off my phone and laid it there with you know my other stuff. So I got ready to go to work yesterday, and I couldn't find it. The other stuff was where she said it was, but the um the wally jr was not and then you know you use it just for the most important things yeah like your driver's license and your credit card that you use most holds four cards so whatever the most important cards are that you use most frequently now i only have three in here i have my driver's license uh my uh, one credit card that i use most of the time and then my um my membership card to a warehouse shopping place. Oh, yeah. well, got to have that on. Right. Well, because that's where I get gas. Oh, okay. So I need that, at, you know, handy. But I couldn't find it coming to work. I panicked. I text um, Riggins and Rob, and I said, I'm going to be a few minutes late, leaving the house. Went all over the place looking for it, thinking I took it off the phone in a different location. Ended up having to come to work without it. I was panicked all day. I was like, I can't, I can't get my mind off of trying to figure out where that is. And I got home and I asked my wife, um, is there anywhere uh, that you think it might be? And she said, uh, well, did you look in that cabinet over the dr – did you look in that basket in the cabinet over the dryer in the laundry room? And I said, no, I didn't because why in the world would it be there? But I didn't say that. I didn't <laughs> say that. And that's where it was. She had put it there and left me hanging. But the moral of the story is, is that I got it back and I love it and – you need to get one, or you need to get one for a guy in your life for um, for a gift. Go to tjriggins.com slash gift, and then use the code TJ to get 20% off. It's really neat, really cool. I mean, it has to be cool if it put me in that big of a tither. Yes. You know, that's how much I like it. A tither? Mm-hmm. A You're tither. A, a downright tither. I'm just, you know, I need to simmer down. I'm in a tither. <laughs> Sorry, TJ can't come. He's in a tither. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we have the top five things men need to have. Today is the uh, the last one on the list. We've counted down to number one, and we'll get to it next. Attention veterans. Hi, I'm Richard Ocado. I'm a proud veteran just like you. I recently helped one of our fellow veterans refinance their home. They got money out to fix up their backyard and build a fancy deck. And we still save this guy $467 a month. With the rates coming down, you need to call me today at 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. It's a free five-minute phone call. 
zero risk, no money up front, no money out of your pocket. Close, make sure it's paid with 25. Richard Cotto Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Every shark on Shark Tank called these pancakes the best pancakes I've ever eaten. Long table pancakes are made with heirloom grains, which provide more protein, more fiber, and more flavor. Learn more at tjriggins.com slash pancake. Okay. Okay. Um, Riggins, I got a dim yesterday from um, from a lady that said uh, that she appreciates the um, the top five list of things men need to have. Oh, cool. Um, because um, she learns. See, that's the thing. The ladies learn from the ladies and men's. Because men's don't know what to do nowadays. Sometimes they're just pulled in different directions. I mean, even that, you know, that that poor sap that has proposed to Lady Gaga asked her permission to propose before he proposed. So when you got men second guessing everything now, it's always good to have a a guiding light from someone who's wise and courageous. And you're that light. That is I. You're that light. Yes. So, top five things men need to have. Number five was f- various sizes of uh, coolers, ice chests. Number four, a grasp of the most basic cooking skills. Number three, at least one good watch. Number two was yesterday. Uh, men need to have their feet taken care of. No long, dirty toenails and all that. It's gross. <laughs> uh, and number one. Top five things men need to have. An understanding of your wife's likes and dislikes. Mm. Mm. Now, um, I know there are times when men can honestly say, I I don't know what she wants. One minute she says this, the next minute she's yelling at me about that. I thought I was doing the right thing, you know, whatever. And I get it. That's part of it. Because... Um, because even the good ones have squirrels in their heads, <laughs> you know, <laughs> at times. Right. But I'm talking about things like if you were to go and uh, your wife said, um, I don't know, are you just maybe you're going to surprise her on the way home and you're going to stop and get her some ice cream. Yeah. Because she loves ice cream. Maybe she's um, PMSing and that's what she craves. You should know not to take her raspberry ice cream or sherbet or whatever. If she does, you should know she doesn't like raspberry and not show up with it. Yep. That kind of thing. You should pay attention to um, things that you may think are girly uh, because you, you, it really means a lot to her when you notice, oh, your nails are a different color. I like that. See, that's the kind of thing that means a lot to women. They they like for you to notice things about them that they've that they've put the effort into doing. Um, even though, and ultimately, the, what you say doesn't matter most when it comes to things like that. What other women say matters more about their nail color and all that. But for you to just let them know, hey, I'm paying attention. Mm-hmm. I, I I pay attention to you. Um, they love that. They yeah. love to have attention paid to them. <laughs> They're very childlike in that area. <laughs> They're very look at me. Yeah. Um, unless you're paying attention to them and noticing negative things about them or what they perceive to be negative. They for example, um, they're, they're always women are on guard to have to defend themselves uh, to or against a man, their man even. Um, my wife does all of our laundry uh, for, I don't know how many years, probably 26 years or so. Um, my wife has been a stay-at-home wife and mother so that was part of you know what she's always done the laundry and my wife is left-handed i'm not so i asked her the other day how how do you decide um 
whether you're going to uh, put my shirts on a hanger facing this way or that way, like left-handed or right-handed. Because some of them, when you go, when I hang them or when she hangs them in my closet, if I go left to right, sliding the hanger over, the, you know, the shirt is facing me before I switch it. And then others is facing the other way. Like if it's a T-shirt that has writing on it, it could be the writing's looking at me before I swipe left with it. It could be that it's solid. And then when I swipe left, that's when I see it with the writing. And um, uh, she immediately got defensive. And I said, hold on, I'm not saying it's wrong or that I did. Well, obviously you are. You're asking me about it. Will you? I said, no, I'm not. I'm asking you because I'm curious because you do. <laughs> no, because, you know, Riggins, she'll always say. TJ, you got to stop. No, listen, she'll always say I do this left-handed, but I do this right-handed. Right. So that's why I ask her what. When we're playing uh, like that shuffleboard game at the bars, you know, shuffleboard deals, yeah, with your hand, she'll play half the game right-handed and then she'll switch to left-handed. We have a big laugh about it. So that's why I'm asking: what? When do you decide that you're going to hang them up left-handed, or when do you ha decide you're going to hang them right-handed? And she immediately thought I was criticizing her, which I, g I genuinely was not. I was just curious because she goes back and forth. And she goes, well, it's just however I grab them. Yep. That's how I go. Because, like, now it's because I am having to run and do so hard and so fast, I don't even have time to, to determine which way I'm hanging them. No. It's she's not like looking that. for any commentary. My, I, I know, but it, it really wasn't. I swear. If I would be, because I tell you that I was being a smart ass to her about something here or there. I'll tell you that. Like the other day when I told her the fire was too high under the eggs, she was scrambling. Right. That I did on purpose just to aggravate her. Mm -hmm. This I didn't. I was completely innocent. Although they should be going all in the right direction, in one direction. That's Riggins. You saying that? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'm surprised she doesn't do that. She worked in retail too. Yeah. You know, that's that's kind of where you pick up that thing. Yeah. But anyway. But I'm. Um, I mean, I didn't say anything else about it. Like, um, like I'm sure when she hangs her clothes up, they all go in the same direction. I didn't say that, even though I may, I may have uh, perceived that. Yeah, I right. I told you the other day, my mom made her macaroni salad, and she made it a little bit differently. And my mm. dad said, "You did something different with the macaroni salad. I loved it." And she, <laughs> it was, it was a compliment, but she was shooting daggers at him. Yeah, she just doesn't want any commentary. Positive or negative. I know it's because they they always and they've been taught this, you know, since the feminist movement. They've been taught that you're not gonna let a man get over on you in any way, you know, whatever. <laughs> because her mother could have said the same thing. Jody, why are you hanging them half of them this way and half that way? And she wouldn't have said, Well, I'm mom. Do you want to do this? <laughs> Which is what she would have said to me if I was being really critical of it. Well, you know what? You can just do your own laundry from now on. And that's what she said? No, she didn't. Oh, she didn't say she that. really finally realized I was being um, earnest. I wasn't I wasn't trying to, you know, criticize. I was just asking. Yeah. But anyway, you need to know if you're a man, you need to know what what women like what your wives like and what they don't like. So if you come in and, and you notice things about them, that's positive, like, Oh, your nails look great. You know, you get those done today. Yeah. That's a good thing. But if you notice things that are negative, like you hang my shirts up the wrong way, then they don't like that. <laughs> they don't like that at all. Mm -mm. My brother's really good. He memorizes his wife's coffee order. Yeah. Cause it's insane. That's a good one. But he, he gets it for it. And it's like, you know, venti caramel pipe, mm -hmm. you know, but that's a good example of that. Is that Kevin or Matt? A Kevin. Yeah. Matt was I would think that make would your be own coffee. A, that'd be a Kevin thing. Middle brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, my wife w will admit that that's one of the first things uh, when we, I mean, when we first started seeing each other back in the early 90s, that um, I noticed that she had changed her nail polish since the last time I had seen her. Yeah. And that impressed her that I was paying attention to her. I wonder if she's still as impressed with that skill. Probably not. Or if it is absolutely the bane of her existence now. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, but um, but they also want you to notice if they've done anything different with their hair. Yeah. So pay attention and let and listen because yeah. they'll be talking about it. I'm getting my hair done Wednesday, or remember, I, I don't want to get my hair done Wednesday. I got all this stuff going on. If you just pay attention, you will hear them say what they're going to do. And then whether you really see a difference in it or not, you know that they went and got their hair done, then make a comment about it. Yeah. Unless it's, man, she messed up your hair. Are you? Do you like that? You know? Yeah. How do you decide on that cut? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> when you were picking the color for that, did you tell her to go... You know what made you what made you go with uh, silver? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, really good advice. Actually, mm. it's really good. Just yeah. listen. That's Just, all you got to pay attention. Yeah, pay attention, and don't come across as like a total oaf. You know, you're not. Most guys are not that way, but mm -hmm. they're portrayed that way a lot. Yeah, but uh, that's a good one. Like you don't even pay it. I don't even know when her birthday is. Yeah. I don't right. know our anniversary. I hate that stuff. Yeah, I don't know a, a single guy uh, that doesn't know his wife's birthday and anniversary. And all yeah. That. And I don't think I ever have no. known anybody like that. Mm -mm. But that's now, a good baseline. Now, on the other hand, women will want you to remember things that are almost impossible. Like this. Right. Is, it's don't you know what today is? No. Today is the... 13th anniversary of the first time we ever went to the grocery store together. Yeah, I mean, that's stupid. And got produce. Yeah, that's dumb. Oh, you forgot to get me a boo basket. I mean, yeah. there are levels to it. Like, sure. But the anniversary birthday, those come, her mom's name, <laughs> you know, like those baseline <laughs> things are good. Uh huh. Don't buy into that stupid nonsense like boo baskets. Yeah, don't get into all that. Okay, so there you go. We'll have another list that will start um, Monday. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be just as great. Yeah. So fear not. We'll talk to you then. Hey, it's TJ. And if you are one of the many people who is still fighting the weight loss battle and you think the only way that you can lose weight is by going and getting some of these drugs that people are doing and talking about all the time that are so expensive, stop. You need Calitrin. Calitrin is the safe, effective way to lose weight. Now, the thing about it is, is that Calitrin is not going to tell you, you uh, use our product and you're going to lose 30 pounds in a week and a half. It doesn't work that way. It is all natural. It is collagen. We lose collagen over time and our bodies need that. So with Calitrin, it helps you lose weight the safe and effective way. I've used Calitrin for a long time and you should as well. So it's very easy to do. You just go to tjriggins.com slash weight loss, tjriggins.com slash weight loss and order Calitrin today. Jody is wearing her new painless, yes, painless stiletto heels from Protege Footwear. They were created by Candace, a fashion engineer and an MIT trained engineer. So that's why they're beautiful and painless. The best of both worlds. Save 30% right now by using the code ACETJ at acetj.com slash shoes. That's acetj.com slash shoes with the code ACETJ for 30% off.